Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly crumble cookie review. I'm super excited for this week because it's Mother's Day week. We're going to be celebrating Mother's Day on Friday. So you're going to see a vlog on that because I'm taking my mom to dinner. That's going to be a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you plan to do for your mother? And if you are a mother, what are you going to do for Mother's Day? Before I start the review, make sure to stay all the way to the end of the video because I will be announcing a winner of a four pack crumble cookies. So yeah, stay tuned. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the cookies for this week. I am super excited for for this one because I'm a huge fan of cheesecake and it's perfect for Mother's Day. I ended up getting two of these because I'm a huge fan of cheesecake and I want to share one with my mother. By the way, just to let you know, this is not edible so don't dare to bite into this. Though I kind of wish that it was edible, like kind of like a crust so I can just eat it fully but um, I gotta peel it. And by the way, when you get this raspberry cheesecake, um, it is an upcharge of $1.49. I think that's what I saw on the screen. I wasn't so sure, but there is an upcharge for this. And this is Crumble's first cheesecake. So I'm definitely very excited for this. Huge fan of cheesecake, so let's try it out. So yeah, here's the cheesecake. Let's go ahead and read the description. A true classic vanilla cheesecake baked over a buttery graham cracker crust, then topped with a tangy mouth watering raspberry spread and a dollop of whipped cream. I also want to say I am very sorry for last week's lineup. I know there was a lot of toppings missing and I didn't I wasn't able to check any of those. I just grabbed the box and I was like, let's go because um, I trust them fully. But they did get a whole new staff. So um, it's also my fault for not inspecting them. But I truly did this time. So everything should be spot on, <laughs> I hope. All right, so let's go ahead and take out the wrapper because I do want to show you and I do want to take a bite. Oh, I made a mess. Okay, so this is what the cheesecake looks like. Here's the crust, the graham cracker crust. Oh my goodness, it smells delicious. The, I think this is the only cookie that served chilled. Oh, look at this. Bam. All right, let's go ahead and take a bite. The graham cracker crust is very crumbly. So when I took a bite, <clears throat> you can hear it in my voice. Before I took a bite, I inhaled it, I guess, and all the crust pieces got stuck in my throat. The graham cracker crust is very crumbly, so delicious, such a great, amazing crust. But when you do take a bite into this raspberry cheesecake, it definitely tastes a lot like raspberry. The vanilla is very creamy, very cold. It does taste exactly like you're having a cheesecake, which I'm very impressed because it literally just tastes like cheesecake. And like I said, very creamy vanilla. The spread of the raspberry on top is just enough. Very chilled and cold cheesecake cheesecake i'm definitely going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. i already know that my mom's going to love this as well and you're going to see that in the vlog pretty soon but yeah definitely go get this for mother's day and definitely try it out super delicious all right so the next cookie is pink velvet cake here it is this one is served warm it smells so delicious and it looks so beautiful. This is definitely a crumble cookie because of the design on top and it's pink and there's a lot of crumbs on top. Okay, so this one right here, pink velvet cake, a velvety cake batter cookie topped with a layer of vanilla cream cheese frosting and a pink velvet cookie crumbs. All right, let's go ahead and take a bite of this beauty. This cookie is so soft, so warm, very buttery. The inside is so doughy. To me, the cookie itself had a lot of cake batter taste with very small hints of vanilla. Very delicious cookie and I love pink velvet cake. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. All right, the next one is made for my mom's recipe. Just kidding. This one here is called mom's recipe. It's supposed to be an oatmeal, chocolate chip, peanut butter type of cookie. It looks very plain and ordinary, but like I always say, never judge a book by its cover because um, these are usually always most delicious. So yeah, take one more last look before I read the description. Actually, just keep looking at it. Okay, so this one right here is mom's recipe. A taste of home. A hearty oatmeal cookie packed with semi-sweet chocolate toffee and peanut butter flavored chips then sprinkled with a dash of sea salt so excited all right mom don't fail me now the flavors that i got from this cookie from that description that i just read some semi-sweet chocolate chip and some oatmeal i wasn't able to taste too much toffee or peanut butter but to me i feel like it's more like an oatmeal cookie but i'm gonna give this one an eight out of ten that's okay mom it's still a very delicious cookie all right here's the next cookie this is for all the lemon lovers out there this one here is lemon poppy seed check it out look at this and there's lemon filling inside so i will show you when i take a bite I should read the description quickly because it's actually breaking apart. Okay, so this one here is lemon poppy seed, a zesty lemon cookie mixed with poppy seeds, loaded with lemon filling, and then smothered in lemon almond glaze. All right, let's go ahead and take a bite. 
The taste of this cookie is exactly what you would have guessed. Nothing but lemon. I feel like the zest of the lemon really does come from the filling. But overall, just a lemon cookie. There is the filling inside, like I said, but it's very minimal. The glaze on top also enhanced that lemon taste. For me, I'm going to give this cookie a 7.5 out of 10. Oh my goodness, we're already down to the last cookie. So this one here, here we go again with chocolate, right? But it's such a beautiful chocolate flower. Just look at it. Okay, so this one here is chocolate cake. A rich chocolate cake cookie topped with smooth chocolate fudge frosting and shaved dark chocolate curls. Every time I think of chocolate cake, it reminds me of Bruce from Matilda. All right, as I finish this whole cookie, make sure to chant Michael, Michael, Michael. Just kidding. Okay, so I'm not gonna eat this whole cookie, at least not this time. But I do plan to eat the full cookie pretty soon because I know a lot of people have been requesting that. So I will probably do that. I can do that next week, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's do that. All right, so let's take a bite. Mm. Okay, definitely 100% chocolatey. Super dark chocolate cookie for sure. And wow, it really does taste like you're actually taking a bite into a chocolate cake. It's so thick. Too much chocolate all over. It has a little sweetness to the chocolate, but I think the overall taste is more like dark chocolate. Definitely for me, not a big fan, but I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10. But wow, still the lineup was so delicious. I am still so impressed on that raspberry cheesecake. I love it so much. All right, so let's go ahead and announce the winner for this week's four pack crumble cookies. Remember that I always do this giveaway the first Monday of every month. All right, so the winner of the four pack crumble cookies is Dana Hinton. I, I hope I said that correctly because I always butcher names. But anyway, you'll see her username right here. Congratulations, Dana or Dana. I, I actually don't know how to say it. So yeah, congratulations. Make sure to contact me on Instagram messages or through my business email. I was going through the comments on last week's video and I was laughing so hard when um, they forgot the frosting on my churro. <laughs> the one that made me laugh the most was, was this comment that said, bro got a diet churro cookie. It did seem like that because the frosting has some calories and sugar and stuff like that I just reduced it by just not having it but I didn't request it that way it's just that they forgot and I'm dumb enough to not inspect it but now I'm totally inspecting all of the cookies before I do the review now I don't want to keep failing you guys so yeah make sure to congratulate Dana or Dana in the comments down below and also let me know in the comments down below which cookie looked delicious to you what are your plans for Mother's Day all of that good stuff and for next week's crumble cookie review i'm definitely going to eat an entire cookie probably i don't know if i should do the cookie that i like the most with the highest rating or i should eat the whole cookie of the least rated <laughs> um cookie anyway you guys let me know in the comments down below and i'll eat one of those cookies you want me to eat the the highest rank or the lowest rank and yeah overall thank you so much for everybody for always liking commenting and sharing the video i appreciate all of you i love interacting with you guys all in the comments it's always so much fun especially reading comments that are like hilarious like that i i love that have a great day have a great rest of your week and i'll see you guys next monday